Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to program a traffic light sequence by using a PLC. In first part, you are going to understand how to write a PLC program. In second part, we would be integrating that program to an HMI to display that traffic light signal on an HMI. So first part is a PLC programming, second part is HMI programming. In order to program a traffic light sequence in a PLC, you need to understand few things very much clear. One of that is what is the sequence of a normal traffic light. So the traffic light sequence is like that. This is the first sequence you would see. Red would be on for some time and then you would see red and yellow. Both would be on for some time and then you would see after that red and yellow would be off and green is to be on for some time and that timing sequence we are going to define in next slides you will understand that and then after that you would see the yellow is to be on for some time so uh, this sequence we actually have to program by using a PLC we need to define the timing of red and red and yellow together and green and yellow so this is what we have defined here the red is marked as Q0.0 .0 output in a PLC and timing for the red sequence is 14 seconds. That means red is to be on for 14 seconds. So when you would see red, red is to be on for 14 seconds and after that you would see red and yellow would be on because yellow we have decided whenever in any sequence yellow is there, yellow is to be on for 8 seconds. Green is to be on for 10 seconds. Then our yellow that's need to be on for 8 seconds. And this cycle should repeat itself after that. So now we are going towards the programming part of that particular project. We are programming S7300 PLC by using a semantic manager. So this is our code. So when somebody would press this start button, initially what would happen? Uh, forget about this particular memory bit. I will let you know and also this one. So what we want when somebody press a start button right away at the same time, the first sequence should be red sequence, right? Red would be on uh, right away when somebody would press up a start button. So and then we need a timer to calculate how much time red need to be on. So we have decided red sequence for 14 seconds. That's why we got a T on timer or uh, on delay timer here and we would put up a delay here 14 seconds. So this is the output when 14 seconds would pass till that time red is to be on. Remember that we don't need to turn it off when our 14 seconds would pass because red would be still on here with yellow. That's why we are not going to make this decision of turning off here. When 14 seconds would pass, this M0.0 .0 would be high and that would turn on a yellow timer and you know that yellow sequence is to be on for 8 seconds. So that's why when M0.0 .0 would be high, this yellow timer would be on. That would be timing for 8 seconds and when 8 seconds would pass, M0.1 would be high. When red and yellow actually passed 8 seconds of time turning on together, that time what we have to do, we have to turn off both red and also yellow. So uh, with M0.0, .0, you turn on one timer and along with that, forget about this branch for now. Just focus on this site. I will let you know what is that one by one. Okay, I, will, I have to tell you M0.1, M0.3. If you are going to focus one by one, you will understand it. But now your understanding should be this one. When M0.0 .0 is high, you, you have taken two decision. You turn on a timer of eight seconds. Along with that, you actually get that M0.0 .0 here and you turn on the yellow light. There should be a, some time to cut off that light for sure, right? So when our 8 second will pass, this is indication when you have to turn off that yellow light. So what is the indication bit that 8 seconds are passed? This M0.1. That's why you take a normally close contact of the same bit. That means when this guy is going to be higher, this will cut off this yellow. I will let you know about that branch for now. You just have to focus on this one branch. So another thing that you are going to do, you are not only going to cut off yellow, right? You actually, this M0.1, which is indication that yellow is actually turned on 
along with red for 8 seconds. That time you have to turn off both red and yellow. That's why you see M0.1 not only cutting off here, it's also used normally close contact here to turn off the red light. Let's see why I'm saying that. So this red is on for 14 seconds. When 14 seconds will pass, red and yellow is to be on for some time, that's 8 seconds. And now, when this time would pass, red and yellow need to be off at the same time. That's why the indication bit, when 8 seconds are passed, would be used here. You can see here, M0.1, and also here, turn off red and yellow. That's why you can see M0.1 is used here to cut off red and to cut off yellow. And you can see here the M0.1 is indication when 8 seconds are passed. That means when red and yellow were on for 8 seconds, at that time you have to turn off both red and yellow. And also along with that you have to turn on the green light. So see, the M M when M0.1 is high, this is one action we have taken here. And with M0.1 high, we put up a timer of 10 seconds because we have decided that the green is to be on for 10 seconds. So when M0.1 is high, we put up a timer. Along with that, we take this green light to be on. You can say here. And the cutoff is very simple for that because green is a independent single sequence that is very easy to understand when this would be high at the same time when m0.1 is high you turn off red and yellow along with that you have to turn on the green now you have to calculate the timing of the green sequence that's why you put up another timer here that timer is 10 seconds time that is going to calculate how much time you need to turn on that green sequence when this 10 second would pass, you know that memory bit M0.2 would be high. And you can see here when this would be high, it is going to cut off the power. It is going to cut off our green sequence. And you can see the green would be off after that. So right after green sequence, the next sequence is going to be yellow sequence. So you can see when M0.2 is high, you cut this M0.2 here. And you put up a timer here of 8 seconds because you know that yellow is to be on every time 8 seconds. And then at the output of this, you have M0.3. Now I will get you to that network. Here, you can see this is a yellow sequence. When M0.2 is high, you put it in parallel. You are going to turn on yellow light. You can see here, yellow is to be on at that time. When M0.2 is high, you turn on the yellow light. And the cutoff point for that is when this 8 second would elapse or this 8 second would pass. This is M0.3. That's why we put up a normally close contact here for M0.3. And you can see to repeat the whole sequence, we put up this M0.3 here also. It's the time to simulate it. In order to simulate, you have to turn on this simulator from here. You have to make it MPI because the module we are using is MPI. So you have to change it to, now you have to download simple, turn on here, watches, run the CPU from here. You're aware Q0.0 is our red, Q0.1 is our yellow, and Q0.2 is our green. So when I'm going to press this I0.0, which is a start button, this sequence would start working, you can see. And you start it up, this timer is running, and at that time, your red sequence is on. Have a look at that. When this sequence would pass, you can see now the yellow sequence is on. Red and yellow both are on here. Have a look at that. Now, after that, you can see it's a green sequence. Green is to be on for some time. And then after that, as per our sequence, yellow is to be on. You can see here. And then this whole sequence is going to repeat red. And you can have a look at that once. Red, red and yellow. And also you would see green and yellow. And then uh, it would start again. That was the easiest way to write a PLC program for a traffic light sequence. 
I hope you liked today's video. It is going to definitely help us if you're gonna hit the like button and subscribe this YouTube channel. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.